Well, welcome uh, to everyone. This is the first night of campus worship uh, for Active Christians today, ACT. Uh, if you're new to us and uh, or just out there listening, uh, we're located over there on Wooster Street. We've got the house, um, God Dogs and Jesus Burgers, that's what we're known for. Um, hopefully we can be known more for uh, wor wor or worship of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, tonight, let's just uh, let's start things off right. Let's start the semester off right, and uh, let's just lift it up uh, to God in prayer. So, if you guys want to go ahead, let's bow our heads and uh, talk to the Father. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, you are awesome. Thank you for a wonderful evening, Lord. Thank you for giving us beautiful weather out here tonight, Lord. Lord, I ask that you uh, you be with us here, Lord. That you just uh, fill this uh, this this little area and this whole campus, Lord, with your presence, Lord. Lord, I pray that uh, tonight that you take our hearts and our minds and you turn them towards you, Lord. Lord, I pray that uh, tonight let us not be a distraction, but be uh, just uh, a guide and a beacon of yours, Lord. Lord, use us not just here up on the stage or when Dave speaks, Lord, but those of us who are are here and just part of just worshiping you lord use us all lord lord i pray that you take this semester lord and you make it yours lord i pray that you work in our lives lord i pray that you work through our classes work through the people that we meet through uh the jobs that we have the new beginnings and the old endings lord you work through them all Lord, I ask this all in your son's name. Amen.
think you can't see that everything happens for a reason, even the worst life brings. And if you're reaching for an answer and you don't know what to pray, just open up the page. Let his word be your strength and hold on to the promises. Hold on. So hold tight, hold on to the promises. North is one for the good of those who love God. He holds back nothing that will heal you, not even his own son. His love is everlasting. Denominational minister here on, 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 uh, on campus. And just about as simply as I can put it, we're a group of followers of Jesus. Uh, we're not a part of a denomination. Uh, we're not a part of a, of a nationwide organization. In fact, there's only really two chapters of ACT one here at BG and one up at the University of Toledo. Uh, this one was started many years ago by a professor who uh, taught here. At, uh, at the BGSU. We have a campus house that's, uh, quick night, good. We have a campus house that's across uh, the street from here. In fact, if you would walk straight through and walk to the building and, and get on the list of street, you see the little blue house with the uh, sign of the Ipnus fish on the front. Uh, no one lives there, so really what it is is just a place for students to come and kind of hang out. We open it up Monday uh, through Friday at 8 in the morning. and. Uh, we just invite you to come. There is available um, wireless internet, cable TV, a study area, a quiet room, there's a full kitchen, a video game area, uh, some free snacks, 25 cent pop. Uh, we have monthly parties, we have Bible studies. There are service projects, we have mission trips both in spring break and over the summer. 
retreats, one each summer, uh, one each semester over in Angola, Indiana. It's just really a, a, a good place to go to study, to relax, to meet new friends, uh, take a nap if you need to. It's kind of a way to get away from dorms or a, a crazy roommate that you might find that you have. Uh, if you're a commuter, it's a good place to come, just to kind of hang out in between classes or, or, or anyone can come over in between classes rather than going back to the dorms or going back to your partners, come over and enjoy it. And I guess the invitation is to come and visit us tonight. Afterwards, we're going back to the campus house for what we call the living room. It's a time for snacks and games and conversation and just, uh, just a lot of fun. So we invite you to come over tonight. If you are a first time guest at ACT, uh, we have a gift for you, so make sure you pick it up before you leave. And uh, also, I send out an email every Monday talking about what's going on during the week. If you would like to receive that, there's a place over there on the table where you can sign up for that. Like I said, each week we meet at Kraut Chapel. Uh, the band plays. Uh, we have we usually have a lesson to kind of go along with the theme of the semester. Uh, and the purpose is to kind of help us as followers of Jesus to uh, kind of keep focused. Focus on who we are. To focus on where we're going. This, this past summer, as I was reading, there were these 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 two verses that just kind of grabbed my attention. And I kept trying to, I didn't like what they said, so I kind of kept putting them away, and, and God just kind of kept bringing them back. Uh, they're found in the New Testament, uh, in the book of 1 Peter, written by Peter, one of the 12 apostles. Uh, he quotes from the Old Testament, from the book of Leviticus. Uh, and the verses say this, God who chose you to be his children, he is holy. For he himself has said, you must be holy because I'm holy. Initially, as I was reading those verses, I, I had a really a difficult time kind of wrapping my brain around what he was saying there. And, and it wasn't so much that I, I didn't understand intellectually what they said. But I, I know the person that I see every day in the mirror. And then I am being told by God that he wants me to be holy. And knowing who I am and what he wants of me, it really made me very, very uncomfortable. Because see, I don't always do a very good job of being holy like he's asked me to be. I, mean, I, I can handle the part that God is holy. Holy means to be, to be pure, to be set apart, to be different, to stand out. And God is pure. He's without sin. He is set apart from all other gods. He said in Scripture, God, capital G, is above all gods, small g. In other words, He's the only God. He's different. He does stand out. He was before time began. He will be after time ends. He's the creator. He's the sustainer of all. So I can handle that part of the verse. And you see, also the word holy can be translated saint. God is telling me that he wants me to be a saint. Saints are, 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 are God followers that I read about in the Bible or are someone like Mother Teresa. But, but not, not someone like Dave Warner. But he goes on to say this, because I am your father and because you are my children, I want you to be like me. You see, it's that cause and effect thing.